Hi, Felipe. Uh, I'm going to give this a try and, and see how this works. Uh, see if it works for you. See if it works for me. We'll um, we'll, we'll see see how it works. Period. Um, uh, thanks thanks for uh, thinking about me and uh, and asking me to do this. Uh, you know, for uh, for the folks you're showing this to, I'm Bill Bangham. I'm a, a photojournalist, a writer, an editor. That pretty much sums up my career. My um, most of my work has been done with within the in the field of religious what I guess you would call religious journalism. I've uh, primarily reported on on missions globally, you know, for the for the last 35 years. Uh, I work at um, I'm director of the academy at uh, the International Mission Board in Richmond, Virginia. The academy is is a place in which uh, writers, photographers, editors. Uh, designers, web coders, um, video producers—they—they uh, uh, they have an opportunity to develop their skills in in advanced storytelling. Um, you've asked me a couple of questions, and one one of those was, um, "What is a Christian photographer?" And I kind of struggled with that a little bit, to be honest with you, Felipe, because. Uh, I I hesitate to use that adjective with you know in front of in front of photography. Um, oftentimes that just means a Christian with a with a camera. It uh, it doesn't mean much more beyond that. It's somebody who's I'm a Christian and I'm taking photographs. I'm not sure why I'm doing it, but I'm showing you know um, you know uh, the people of the world uh, you know for 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 God and. Uh, Quite frankly, um, be real, real blunt with uh, with you and, and and your colleagues there. Oftentimes, that means um, not very good work. It's oftentimes uh, something that's just done on a on a part time basis. Uh, one of my favorite authors kind of addressed this a little bit. Um, this attitude of mine. Uh, her name is Annie Dillard, and she wrote a a, a book called Pilgrim at Tinker Creek, which won the Pulitzer Prize, you know, several several decades ago. But I remember hearing her speak one time, and, and someone asked ask her, or called her a Christian writer, and, and she said she wasn't comfortable with that. Uh, that, that pegged her, her work, uh, you know, for a certain group of people, and, and that's all, you know, Christians. And she says, I am a Christian. And that informs everything I do, you know. But my my work has a has a broader appeal than that, and or a broader purpose than that. And 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 I feel the same way. Uh, I'm um, I'm a I'm a photographer. I work in the the uh, the realm of um, of religious journalism. I'm very interested in in culture, and in 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 faith, different faith groups. Uh, and uh, my, I look at my work as not just for other Christians, but um, but a broader audience than that. And in in a sense, there's almost um, I won't even qualify that. There there's there's an evangelical or evangelistic uh, component to to that, or at least that's the way I see it. I. Uh, uh, I, I view my work uh, as a calling, as an act of bearing witness, and uh, you know that that is what I've been called to do, to bear witness to this age and this time. Um, so, Christian photographer, uh, I'd rather I'd rather have you call me a Christian, and that informs the work that I do as a, as a photographer. Uh, my my work has has been seen in secular publications as well as religious publications. So I see see you know see a great you know a, a, a breadth in that 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 I'm afraid that you know that adjective um, uh, Christian kind of confines a little bit. Um, hope this doesn't sound too strange but um, but I feel really strongly strongly about that. Um, I, I think those of us who are called uh, in, into doing uh, this kind of work in in, in essentially helping um, people for our day and our time to make sense of their world 
you know, in particular in, in, the, in the realm of faith and, uh, and when you get into missions in, in, the, uh, uh, in, in, the, in the broader purview of, of, of culture. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just, uh, just afraid I would rather be called, as Annie Dillard said, I'd rather be called a, a Christian whose faith informs what he does. The uh, the other question you asked me about was, um, um, you know, uh, missions photography. Um, you know, it, I see that there's a there's a number of, of of different layers on that. I uh, obviously there are many people that go out with with their churches um, to document mission projects to bring home to the folks at home an idea of what they've been doing overseas or, or in another country. Uh, and, and there's a great deal of value in that. So that's, that's, that's one level. Um, I, I kind of inferred this earlier when I was talking about being a, you know, a Christian and a photographer. I, I, there's a, there's a, there's a deeper level to this in which we, we are called to, to, um, to bear witness uh, and bear witness through our you know through our images our imagery it it all has to do with not it, it has it has very little to do with going out and purposely creating beautiful images you know what we what we really do is we go out and we and we establish relationships and out of those relationships you know come beautiful images that have a depth and a power and have the ability to touch people's lives, uh, transform lives, um, you know, help people make sense of their world and perhaps even look at their world and hopefully even look at their world from, from a different perspective than, than they have um, been used to looking at it. Uh, in essence, to me, uh, that kind of that kind of calling and that kind of work uh, is um, it's a pretty high calling, uh, and um, you know, it it humbles me at, at times to think about it that way. I when I do, I always go back to um, you know, my my favorite um, my favorite writer in the in the New Testament, and that's Luke. He's my favorite writer because a um, number of different reasons. You know, one, he was not one of the original 12. Uh, he came along later. Um, I'm not one of the original 12. I come along later. When I read his, his, uh, his work, I, I hear him asking questions, um, trying to understand. He wasn't there when, you know, um, you know the multitude was was fed and I and I almost hear him say okay was it 4,000 or 5,000 did you count the women and children or, or is it just the adults you know I see I see that questioning all through his work and later on when he gets in into the book of Acts he even tells us you know you know this this I know personally because I was there and I witnessed it with my own eyes and but for most of most of Acts he's he's relating you know the interviews that he's done with the people who you know who were there and witnessed you know what he saw or what they saw and he's and he's helping his world for his time make sense of 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 what's happening among them As a matter of fact he even says that um he says that in you know the first couple of verses of of um, of his gospel and let me paraphrase it this won't be at, at exact this is call this a bang and paraphrase but basically he says this he says um my dear theothrastus my dear lover of god um in as much of the things that have happened among us i in my turn have have attempted to set down those things so that we might have an understanding of the things that have occurred among us and then he goes on and he tells the story of, 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 of Jesus' life, uh, you know, his, his death, his resurrection. And, and he moves on in, in, into the book of Acts. And there he tells the, the story of, 
of, of a small portion of the of the early church, you know, centered on a couple of the, uh, the you know, primarily a couple of the apostles, uh, ending up, you know, majorly on, on Paul. Uh, and, but he does a, an interesting thing at, at the end of Acts. He does something that no writer ever does. He doesn't end it. It's almost as if at the end of a paragraph, he, he sets down his pen and, and, and he, doesn't, he doesn't wrap things up in a nice little bow. I mean, he doesn't say, thus ends the Acts of the early church. Thus ends the Acts of the, of the apostle. Um, he doesn't say that. He leaves it open. He leaves it unfinished. And I think he did that purposely. I think he did that because he knew that there would be others coming behind him. You know, maybe he didn't know that, uh, you know, I'm sure he thought about writers and storytellers. And, and uh, I, 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 I doubt whether he, you know, had some precognition of, of, uh, of the things that we do today with video and photography. And yet, yet I know uh, almost within, uh, uh, I know in a cert with a certainty within my own heart that he knew others were going to come behind and and take up that pen and take up that way of recording uh, and so that others too might know the things that have happened the truth of the things that have happened among them so that's um it's kind of a high calling um it is it's a very high calling and and at times it it humbles me matter of fact it humbles me an awful lot uh you know when i think about it and yet, I think for those of us, you know, who, 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 who have that call to bear witness, you know, to, um, you know, tell others, uh, you know, the stories of our of our own age and time, so they they might know the truth of, of what's happening among us. That's that's really significant, and, and it's really really important. Well, Felipe, I, I hope this helped. Um, I'm um, I'm humbled by uh, you asking me to to uh, to address a couple of these things for you and uh, and uh, and I miss you, man. I, I really enjoyed our time together in Kona. Uh, blessings on you and and um, and your family, and I look forward to seeing you again.